Unlike the pennies, nickel rolls, I thought I had an ender there, but I didn't. Nickel rolls are actually pretty easy to open. I say as I'm struggling with that. There we go. And here, the only thing that sticks out is this. And I don't even think it's going to be silver. I think this one's just going to be a regular nickel. But we will find out when, when I lift up this. As you can see. Yeah, let me just check again. No mint mark on the top. And it is going to be a... I have to keep pulling back. 1971 Denver. All right. I'm not seeing anything else that's going to make me think that this is going to end up being a good roll. Um, this was the closest thing that we got to an ender. It's the only one that would actually be worth a point, which is this Bison 2005 Westward Expansion, because there's one. Sixty just barely makes that uh, misses out on getting that one being worth a point. And we got a second one. I think this one's also gonna be Yeah, also a Denver. This is a as I said. Um Yeah, um I'm surprised on how many Denvers we get, um, but you know what? I'll take them. Those oftentimes tend to be the lower mintage. And what year is that? Oh yeah, this is the 1960. Got a weird toning on it or something. Something's going on with it. Maybe it was just left in the water. And do we have it? Yes. This is an example of what a pre-1964 mint mark would look like on the side of Monticello. Let me just double check. Yes, we do have it here. If I can... I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's a D by the side of Monticello right there. Alright, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe as we help this channel grow. In addition, for each subscriber we gain during this with the Super Bowl stuff, I'll open up another coin roll as a Super Bowl celebration. As you can see here, we have uh, just the two bringing our total point total, or bringing our point total to two.